Good day. Hello, friends, family, everyone that exists. I assume that everyone that exists is watching this video. Pretty cool assumption, I guess. Um, I wish to make a video today um, a little bit more to kind of uh, unwind and unpack some of the things I said in my last videos. Um, we were having some fun in the last videos. You could see that we had a very nice uh, experience and uh, I wish to introduce to you some of my friends, some of the people I've had very nice experiences with and kind of share the vibe that we're working with and uh, kind of share, um, I don't know, just you, you can see it in our eyes. We had a very nice time, a very wonderful experience and, uh, you know, something that, uh, is giving us some good energy to grow with throughout the year and as we move forward into our lives. Um, I've gotten some feedback uh, <laughs> from concerned <laughs> parental type people that, uh, you know, it would be a good idea to uh, kind of clarify some of the things that, uh, that I've been saying. You know, I, I think it's very important, first of all, you know, in a ceremony like what we did, like um, to use discretion and uh, to be clear, this is something that uh, should be done, you know, only when it's appropriate. This is not like, I, I made the kind of cheeky uh, title, you know, psilocybin should be part of our balanced breakfast, ha ha ha, um, but not part of our breakfast every single day or something ridiculous like that, um, you know, just at appropriate times and in appropriate quantities, these sort of things. I work under the assumption and presumption that everybody is an adult here and that people can make their own decisions and are capable of making uh, their own choices in life. And uh, so, you know, I kind of expect for that to be the case. I make my own choices. I'm very pleased in that. Uh, having said that, I wish to offer information that people will find useful and uh, help them to be amazing, awesome, joyful, and happy like I am. Ah, cool. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to address briefly is that... Um, I don't know, some of the things I was saying might be misconstrued as some sort of a political statement or something like this. Um, basically, you know, my feeling on this is that um, the way things are structured in the world right now is kind of unjust. And, uh, you know, people are being really kind of oppressed and taken advantage of by uh, various forms of government in various ways. And that we as human beings as divine creation, spirit, energy, have the right to uh, step out of this relationship and to uh, step towards freedom and, and having these sort of rights. And um, so I just wanted to kind of make a more sobering video uh, to say, you know, that my, my intention here is for the greatest good, um, for peace, for harmony, for balance, for love, for wisdom, these sort of things. Um, and, you know, the, some of the guiding principles I live by are do no harm, do your best. And so I intend for no one to be harmed. Um, you know, do I think that a radical restructuring of the, the financial system, who prints the money, how they loan it, uh, is in order? Yes. Um, did you know that it's mathematically impossible for the international debt to ever be paid off? Did you know that? Do you understand that? mathematically impossible for all of the debt to, of the world to be paid off. So what the fuck is going on here? You know? You think your student loan debt is bad? Is bad? Like, the entire, the United States corporation is like 15, 22 trillion dollars in debt. Most of that debt is owned by China. It is mathematically impossible for it ever to be paid back. So what is this feeling that like someday in the future, um, you know, we will be a, a free nation of free people who, who can do as they feel. No, uh, people will continue to work until they die and continue to have to work and the debt will compound and it will get worse and worse and worse. It's not going anywhere pleasant. There needs to be a radical restructuring. And the reason I think that it's kind of a good idea, I'm not saying that we should necessarily do this uh, personally to take all of the money and put it in a big pile and burn it. <laughs> is, uh, first of all, because I believe it's covered in black magic sigils and stuff like that, and it's it's bad karma just to use it. <laughs> I'm going to do a sober video. I'm going to chill. I'm going to be very direct and very calm in my words. Um, 
but also just to, to show that if, if all of the money in the world cease to exist today, the sun will still rise tomorrow, the crops will still grow, there will still be fruit on the trees, uh, everything will be the same except there won't be all this paper stuff in the world that people say is worth something. So I just like to make that point that like the natural abundance of the world exists regardless of the monetary system. And there's massive, massive, massive abundance that everybody can have what they need, these sort of things. And, um, you know, I, I just had a very nice conversation with my dad. I love my dad. I wish for, you know, us all to find our way to joy and I am very pleased that my relationship with him is growing and my relationship with all my family and myself is growing and I'm very pleased about these things. Um, we're talking about a little bit about the military and uh, yeah, you got to take the pluses with the minuses. Sure, they kill people, women, children, you know, civilians, da da da, but they also do a lot of humanitarian work and these sort of things. Okay, good point. You know, there, there's many projects that the military is involved with that ostensibly is good things hygiene, sanitation, these sort of things. However, um, I would say that most of this humanitarian work, if not all of it, would be completely unnecessary if it wasn't for the inequitable and unjust financial system that has caused people to uh, find themselves in situations of crippling poverty in the first place. Um, you know, and uh, as as seen through the, the sanctioning uh, financial economic arms of the United Nations, NATO, these these sort of things. And that, to me, is just kind of how it is. If you look at uh, the countries that the United States has been at war with in the last year years, it's been crazy to me. The U.S. has basically been in war my entire life, which is makes me ashamed uh, to have grown up in uh, the United States of America. Uh, these sort of things. I wish to live in a country that is, is peaceful and can be a good example uh, around the world. And uh, hopefully that will be the case sometime very soon. Um, the countries that the United States has taken military action against in recent years have all been the countries that have been trying to depeg their currency from uh, the United States dollar. Uh, this would be Libya, Syria, um, Iraq. Uh, I don't know if they've taken military action on Venezuela, but they've been very strong in their political rhetoric. You get the idea. You know, you know the whole story. Uh, and it's very, very clear to see that they, these are economic, financial motivations. And we look at the financial system, we go back to the Federal Reserve Act, 1933, Emergency Banking Act, 1912, something like this. Um, these sort of things where basically um, the Federal Reserve was created as a, as a private corporation with shareholders, with the unlimited right to print money as they see fit. These sort of things, you start to see where, where this is coming from and the entire monetary system going back even to uh, before uh, the Rothschild, etc. banking cartel was uh, financing both sides of both world wars. Um, all the way back, really honestly, you can trace it all the way back to ancient Babylon, um, these sort of things. And um, to me, actually, it is, <laughs> uh, there is a, a spiritual corruption here. Uh, the abundance of the natural world in manifestation, these sort of things on a spiritual principle, is unlimited and infinite. And when you take this unlimited, infinite, uh, man, one moment. <clears throat> when you take the unlimited uh, natural abundance of the infinite universe and compress it into a square piece of paper with a one or a ten or a, a finite number on it, you're actually you're actually kind of taking something that's infinite and meant to be boundless and you're turning it into a finite commodity, which to me is like a perversion of uh, of the laws of nature. And actually, like, you know... Okay, my startup disc is almost full. That's it for today. Uh, love and light. Um, wishing you well. Um, just to clarify, like, I wish for peace and happiness for everyone. And uh, the best form of government will be the one that can deliver peace. And I will be very happy to support it when it does. I cannot wait for that day. Take care. You guys are wonderful. I hope that we all become wonderfuler in the coming time. All right.